scope. Oh, yeah, that's a fly. Oh, wait. Um. All right, I changed my SD card. I'm also, it's also very warm in here now, so I might need to go, actually, you know what? I have a shirt on underneath. I'm just gonna take my hoodie off. But I have my uh, Toy Story tank top on today. So that's the vibe we're going with. Okay. Yeet. All right, the next song is called Fight or Flight. Then we have another one of the little interludes after that, the Can We Be Friends. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Fight or Flight. <laughs> we vibe in now. Also, oh, my muscles are coming back. I've been going to the gym, guys. I know. Ooh. Okay, this one's fun. This one live will be like, it's a scream song. Love with you, like. I love this. Okay, this is freaking sick. I like how it also sounded like staticky there, like radio wave frequency type of. to cry in front of you. The vibes are so good. I wanna drive down the highway blasting these. Flight. Ooh. Okay, this is cool. His voice is very unique and I feel like he has, okay, this is not gonna come off insulting. His voice is very unique and I feel like it has a certain tone to it that not a lot of people have. Like it's it's his voice and it's one of those distinct voices that when you hear it, it's, it, that's Conan Gray. That's his voice. Not very many artists have them. There's a lot of artists that have like, obviously you can tell the difference between them, but they have the same style of voice. Like it's not out of the ordinary. His voice is different. He's one of those different voices, if that makes sense. And I feel like when you have one of those voices, your music can become very repetitive and sound very much the same because even if the music, the track, a bunch of stuff is different, the voice still sounds the same. But I feel like the way that he's doing it is like, like I said, this is not to be insulting at all. It's I'm complimenting him. I think the way that he's doing it is very good because he's changing up each song to make it sound different enough that even though his voice is you know the unique style of he does a unique style of singing I guess it doesn't sound like the same song over and over again which is a really good thing because certain people they're great and one or two songs are great but that's all you can listen to because they all sound very similar even if the soundtrack is completely different it just is they kind of just all blend into one this he's make sure it's different it's different chapters in the story it's all the same book but it's different chapters in a story opposed to being an essay I guess That was cute. That is cute. I like it. I approve of that message. All right, the next one is Can We Be Friends. It's another interlude. It's a minute long, this one, so it's a little bit longer. I'm intrigued. And we have one song left and that's it. I've heard the rest. Her more than I thought, honestly. Could you be my best friend? Aw, wait, this is gonna be cute. All that little giggle in there, that was cute. This is actually adorable. Oh, wait. Ah, uh -huh, I like that. Oh my god. The k is cute. I like how this like interlude has like, it's an actual song. Like he's singing, he has a story to it, which I mean a lot of interludes have, but it has a story to it. It has a track to it. I feel like a lot of times those kind of stuff just, I mean, they're good and I do enjoy them, but it's more of, it really has more of like a, a vibe to it, which is, I like. The last song we listened to is called Little League. I've heard Heather obviously as the entire world has, and I've heard the story and I cried to it. So that's fine. I, for some reason, feel like I heard bits and pieces of the song on TikTok. I don't know. I know I've heard Manic on TikTok. So maybe this one as well. Oh Ooh, this is again a completely different vibe than the last and amen. I like that I feel like I know this song This song completely gives me like it should be nice and sunny outside which it is right now I want to drive down the highway with my friends open the windows blast this music. This has the vibes of that 100% this is really cute. His, his vocals are really good as well. He can hit some good notes. It just sounds like music that it sounds easy to sing. I love it. 
I wanna, like, I want to dance to this in a crowd. Oh, that's cute, the dumb, the wild, the free. It's really cute. This is really cute. I do enjoy this album a lot. I've already downloaded it. I just feel like, I don't know, bouncy and like positive with this song. Ooh, it's stripped again. Oh, it was stripped for a second and then builds. I like that. I love the parts where it like gives you, like it leaves you wanting more, but also like contains itself. Oh, is that it? That's it. That is it, ma'am. And I'm closing my laptop and I'm gonna go make myself some dinner. I thoroughly enjoyed that album. That album was very, very well done. Like I said, it has like chapters to a novel without being repetitive. Like it tells a different story in each chapter and it's different, but it all flows really well together. I really like that. I think his voice is very, very unique. And I mean, I liked his voice before because I mean, obviously the entire world has heard Heather half a dozen times, if half a, half a million times, I swear to God. It's on repeat, nonstop. It's definitely one of the songs that are going onto the overplayed list. However, I do thoroughly enjoy it. So I don't mind, but there's a lot of people that are like, turns off and I'm like, I know. And what is your point? So, I mean, I'm cool with it, but like y'all understand what I'm, you, you pick up what I'm putting down? I hope so. Anyways, I really enjoyed that. I think his voice is very, like I said, unique and talented and I hope to see more of him in the future. Obviously he's not going anywhere anytime soon. He isn't like, peace out guys, I'm quitting music. So I anticipate another album in the next, you know, year or so. I obviously am not involved in his online presence because I just listened to his album for the first time today. So obviously I don't follow him on Stan Twitter, but I mean, a lot of people that I know do like him. So I see things here and there. Um, and I mean, I'm excited for that music. I'm excited for new music. I think he has a great future ahead of him if he truly does handle himself in the way that, you know, helps him. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I feel like he could have a very, very bright future and a very, very good future if he wants it, which I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't. So yeah, anyways, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out more than you could ever imagine. Like seriously, you guys have no idea how much the thumbs up and the comments really do help. It helps push the video on the algorithm, which therefore helps me get more views, which help for, therefore helps me get more subscribers, which just helps me overall. So if you guys do want to hit that thumbs up button and that post notification bell and comment down below and hit subscribe and do all of that stuff, I would freaking greatly appreciate that. As well as that, if you have any other artists that you listen to that I have never talked about or never reacted to or anything like that and you think that I should do a, another video like this. I just recently did a Billie Eilish one. I did obviously this Conan Gray one now. I've also done one to um, Alec Benjamin and I plan to do a few more people in the future maybe one day. I kind of want to listen to Boys World. I've never actually listened to them surprisingly. I know it might shock you guys because like I like boy bands. There's all my CDs of freaking why don't we they're you know my those are my guys right there so i mean i don't know why i wouldn't be like those are my girls you know boys world so i'm probably gonna listen to them soon and anticipate that if you want to see that make sure you let me know i'm probably gonna do it anyways but like i like to know that you guys are interested in something before i do it because just like makes me want to do it more i mean i do it for myself but like it's nice to have other people be interested as well but anyways i love you all if you want to check out any of my social medias they are all linked down below in the description i have twitter i have instagram i have tiktok i am obsessed with tiktok so that's fun and that hurt my tooth. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video off now and like I said, go make myself some dinner. So I'll talk to you guys all. I don't know if this is being posted on Tuesday or Friday, but I'll talk to you guys soon, either Tuesday or Friday, depending on what day of the week this one gets posted. Cause I've been posting twice a week. So yeah, peace out. I love you all. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Just think about it right now. Everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, Underneath it all, everything's actually alright.